What's up guys? Welcome to my Lux YouTube channel, you know, one source for trending news, celebrity gossip and entertainment news. If you're joining us for the first time, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos. So what's up guys? Welcome back to my Lux YouTube channel, you know, one source for trending news, man. Let's see what happened in the news today. Aisha Bwari's aide refused to disclose her whereabouts. So if you don't know, the president's wife has been out of the country. It's been rumored that she has been in Dubai for an extended period of time, man, and she's like, People are asking why why you know why you not stay in the country? Asurok is safe. She's like, nah, she can't stay there. Asurok is no longer safe. And from the last report we had, the president was not staying in Asurok. He was staying in Katsina. Some people say he went for the holidays, but which begs the question, why is Nigeria not safe? And here has senior special assistant on media and publicity has refused to reveal her whereabouts. The first lady who appeared on channel television program insisted that he was not invited to, to the show to disclose that. According to him, I'm sorry Kayode, this is not part of what I was actually invited here to discuss on your studio. You know what? Let's just fuck around and watch the video. Let's see what he has to say, real life. Well, Mr. Abdullahi, you are the SSA to the President uh, on Media and Publicity Office of the First Lady. So can you tell us... Somebody uh, is there, he's talking to somebody there. ...in the country as we speak. He's talking to somebody there, man. Uh, I can hear you, sorry. I'm asking if the wife of the president, the first lady, is in the country as we speak. God damn it, man. These guys are puppets. Before we even play what he has to say, somebody's actually telling him what to say there, man. Can you believe this? Uh, um, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Kaede. This is not part of what I was actually invited here to discuss uh, in your studio. Uh, I wouldn't be speaking on that. Uh, because it's not part of what we agreed for me to come and discuss. Nobody agrees on what you have to come and say on live TV, man. They ask you what you have to say, and this is what I have with Nigeria, like Nigerian government, man. In it, there's the news. There's what is the truth. It won't kill you to say. That's why I don't believe in the news. That means anything you hear on the news is what they want you to hear. You know that's why they had issues with the NSAS and the CNN reports and all because it was not what they wanted you to hear, and it was not what. They planned for it to hear, so it came out of the blue and there was no way to control it. Like, this is the special assistant of the president's wife on media and publicity. If there's anything we're supposed to know about the president's wife, first person we're going to go to is him. He's a special assistant. That's his whole job. That's his whole job, man. And guess what? He's like, that was not what I asked. I agreed to come to your studio to say. I'm not going to be saying it. Uh, he might have his reasons, man. If you say her life is in danger, I mean, best believe this is the reason why so, she doesn't want us to know where she is, man. We just have to recovery. I don't know whether she's sick, but this coming after she said she has recovered. She went to Dubai. Some say she was sick. Some say she went to chill. But we wish her safe journey back to Nigeria. So if she ever comes back in it, let's not forget she had issues with the president. That's her husband, and he he did his birthday recently. And his wife and his daughter, none of them wished him happy birthday. So there's something we should see there. And the next news we we'll have now is Boko Haram, man. Boko Haram. So many times the government will say we have killed them, we have killed them, we have destroyed their base. And every single day, news report comes out online where they have killed some soldiers. So this report says three soldiers killed, many injured in Bruno as military convoy or convoy hits landmine planted by Boko Haram terrorists. And this is a picture of the soldier, the soldier that just died. And this happened on the 28th of December. So this is very, 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 very recent. God damn, man. Thank you to all the military personnel and armed guards who put their life at risk for us. The general public education is in line of duty. Is beyond the call of duty and we're immeasurable, we're immeasurable indebted to you may your gentle soul rest in peace amen and this is a picture of the Humvee truck so apparently it looks as if these Boko Haram guys have actually planted landmines you know what landmines is they are devices that you can plant and immediately something comes over that area like a truck or a moving car boom it detonates and goes kaboom and it just happens that man very very black it happened that this guy was there and he's dead God damn, man. And you know what? Nigeria Army is not going to come out to say anything. And the next news we have here is guess what? The defense headquarters are coming out to say we just bombed Sambisa and killed insurgents. I mean, if you really bombed them and killed them, how are they kidnapping boys? Let's not forget this case of the boys that were kidnapped. How are they kidnapping boys? And how is it that soldiers are dying on the reg, man? The defense headquarters have said that many insurgents were killed. After the Nigerian Air Force conducted airstrikes on Sambisa Forest in Bruno State, how we show this recent news? They can easily just come out and say crap, but we have to take their word for it, innit? 
and you never ever see them and say, oh, sorry, we lost three soldiers today. We're continuing our effort. It's always, oh, we killed them today. We destroyed them in Sambisa Forest. The statement read, the Nigerian Air Force attack aircraft engaged the area in successive passive, leading to the destruction of some of the structures and logistics stores, including a suspected anti-aircraft gun station. I'm not really sure of all these things, just suspected, man. As the terrorists fired back at NEF aircraft, several intelligence insurgents were neutralized in the process. Man, shout out to the Nigerian Army doing the good work. We pray you guys win the battle against Boko Haram, but as it feels as if we're going one step forward and two steps backwards, I hope we win this war against Boko Haram pretty, pretty soon, man. The next news we have today is actress Moyo Lawa hints at joining OnlyFans. So if you don't know, OnlyFans is a social media platform where you can actually post any video you want or any picture you want but just for only your fans in it and your only fans have people that subscribe to your only fans have to pay a particular amount of money to get subscribed to that platform at the same time you can charge them for watching special videos so you can give them special private sessions and what have you not and nollywood actress moyo lawal has hinted on joining only fans a website where users can charge fan subscription fee in extra for extracted content now ex only fans you can actually put anything on OnlyFans, but because the only things you want to put on OnlyFans, you can't put on your normal Instagram and all, it's extra test stuff. Everybody knows that come the place to put extra test stuff, and she wrote, It's about time for me to jarry. Tired of hard work, hard work gang, bye bye. Everybody cuckoo thinks I am da da da. That's an Olo show. You don't know what an Olo show is, everybody thinks it's a haul, but that's what she's insinuating. And I'm not, I don't know who's saying that because I didn't know that, I didn't have that information that I was thinking she was a haul. 29 December, still on, still no holiday for me yet. Yeah, bills, bills every day. So only fans here I come. So according to her, the hardship and the fact that she's having bills to pay every day is the reason why she's going only fans. And African, if you don't know her, she has been vocal about women rights and let's just allow women do what they want to do with their body and nobody should give a fuck. Nobody should tell them what to do. She's like, sister, you know we don't pay full price for cars over here in the US unless you are buying to come from the auction. She probably put down like 10k. I'm paying like 50k 700 a week. However, only fans is great, but your hustle is wonderful, but still want to join. Oh, so she's trying to stroke the girl that the car is not her own, blah blah blah. But I mean, they should support each other, man. In case you're on only fans and watching this video, if you want to support Moyo Lawal, the Nollywood actress, you can go to her only fans, man. According to her, she probably needs the money. And she says, since we already think that she's a hoe, she might as well just do it in it. I don't think she should do it though. But that's on her. Blessing Okoro man explains masturbation is not a symbol, fornication is. What the fuck did she just say? Let's read that again. Masturbation is not a symbol, fornication is. Blessing Okoro opines. Explain why. Let's read what she has to say. Uh, Blessing Okoro has opinionated that masturbation is not a symbol, fornication is. Why is she saying that? So she posted this on her IG. She said, I said what I said. Fornication is the same. Masturbation, they cry like wolves. Fornication, they smile like lambs. Person where they fuck man and woman, they condemn person where they fuck their self, idiots. So she's saying that people are coming for her are probably gay or they are having premarital sex. So why are they coming for her to say um, masturbation is not a sin in it? People continue to use their ignorance to cash out, according to her. And maybe she had a revelation. We don't know why she's saying this. She said, masturbation is not demonic. A lot of people hide under religion when they lack understanding and answers. Masturbation is the understanding your is understanding your body and the sensational parts. How can you teach people how to touch you or enjoy something? Or you enjoy someone touching you when you don't understand where they should touch and how it feels. Many of you never enjoy sex in your life because of ignorance. So what she feels is that masturbation is not sin and fornication is and masturbation, true masturbation, you can learn more about yourself and what you really like and that's her own point of view and that's why she feels masturbation is not a sin but fornication is and that's blessing Okoro that's her opinion in it and the last but not the least news we have today on odd news man guess what pregnant woman conceived a third baby while pregnant with twins did you just hear that a pregnant woman conceived a third baby while she's pregnant with twins so this is very very strange in it a woman got pregnant again while still pregnant, so she's expecting three babies and all in her belly at the same time. This woman is in the US. The woman was stunned when doctor later told her she was carrying triplets after a third baby was conceived around 10 days after the twins has been conceived, man. This is this is 
and we want it all of you once your wife get pregnant stop it man see this guy i was just joking on that one see this woman she took, she took to t- tiktok with the handle the blonde bunny to share the incredible journey as she's ready to welcome three babies next year god damn man she doesn't know the gender of the baby yet and explained the doctor rules out possibility of having a third triplets who was malnourished god damn This is actually crazy. She actually asked the doctor if, if the third baby will come, but the third baby didn't come. Drop a comment in the comment section and tell me, do you think that's actually possible? Or do you think her case is just special in it? And tell me, man, do you think the Nigerian governments are really, really fighting Boko Haram or we're just kidding ourselves? Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notification to get notified anytime I drop a new video. See you guys next time.